Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer today, the uh, Saturday of the fifth week in ordinary time, but also a feast day today, Our Lady of Lourdes, our Blessed Mother throughout human history uh, since the time of Jesus has been busy tending to her children here on earth through various uh, apparitions, visitations of, uh, of people in need. And she has a need also to relay messages from heaven to us and to make us aware of things we need to be doing. Uh, St. Bernadette of Lourdes, just one example of our Blessed Mother's love and care for us. Uh, it's uh, beautiful that we have all of these uh, instances of our Blessed Mother uh, coming to us and, and helping us through difficult times. So today, as we pray our evening prayer, we pray in thanksgiving for Jesus giving us his mom as our mom. Uh, so we have an intercessor. You know, this is uh, a lot of people say that the best way to Jesus is through his mother. That was quite evident just a, uh, a, a, just a few days ago. We saw the gospel uh, of the, the Feast of the Wedding at Cana, where, uh, you know, our Blessed Mother uh, launched Jesus' ministry. My time has not yet come. Well, she said, yes, it has, and told the wait staff to do whatever he tells you, and thus beginning his public ministry leading towards Calvary. So this is uh, uh, our Blessed Mother still at work in our lives. Uh, Fatima, Lourdes, uh, Our Lady of Guadalupe in Mexico, our Lady of Nock, Medjugorje, so many instances throughout history of our Blessed Mother coming to help us understand our heavenly purpose. So we pray today our evening prayer in thanksgiving for our loving Mother. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Your word, O Lord, is the lantern to light our way. Alleluia. Your word is a lamp for my steps, and a light for my path. I have sworn, I have made up my mind to obey your decrees. Lord, I am deeply afflicted. By your word, give me life. Accept, Lord, the homage of my lips and teach me your decrees. Though I carry my life in my hands, I remember your law. Though the wicked try to ensnare me, I do not stray from your precepts. Your will is my heritage forever, the joy of my heart. I set myself to carry out your will in fullness forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let your word, Father, be a lamp for our feet and a light to our path, so that we may understand what you wish to teach us and follow the path your light marks out for us. Your word, O Lord, is the lantern to light our way. Alleluia. When I see your face, O Lord, I shall know the fullness of joy. Alleluia. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. He has put into my heart a marvelous love for the faithful ones who dwell in his land. Those who choose other gods increase their sorrows. Never will I offer their offerings of blood. Never will I take their name upon my lips. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. 
It is you yourself who are my prize. The lot marked out for me is my delight. Welcome, indeed, the heritage that falls to me. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety, for you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, happiness forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, uphold those who hope in you, and give us your counsel, so that we may know the joy of your resurrection, and deserve to be among the saints at your right hand. When I see your face, O Lord, I shall know the fullness of joy. Alleluia. Let everything in heaven and on earth bend the knee at the name of Jesus. Alleluia. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of men. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth. And every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let everything in heaven and on earth bend the knee at the name of Jesus. Alleluia. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians. May God our Father give you grace and peace. We always give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, in our prayers for you, because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love you bear toward all the saints, moved as you are by the hope held in store for you in heaven. You heard of this hope through the message of truth, the gospel, which has come to you, has borne fruit, and has continued to grow in your midst as it has everywhere in the world. From the rising of the sun to its setting, May the name of the Lord be praised. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. His splendor reaches far beyond the heavens. May the name of the Lord be praised. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. If you are bringing your gift to the altar, and there you remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift in front of the altar, go at once, and make peace with your brother, and then come back and offer your gift. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed, the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength <coughs> of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich. He has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy, promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. 
Amen. If you are bringing your gift to the altar, and there you remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift in front of the altar. Go at once and make peace with your brother, and then come back and offer your gift. God aids and protects the people he has chosen for his inheritance. Let us give thanks to him and proclaim his goodness. Lord, we trust in you. We pray for Francis, our Pope, and Gregory John, our Bishop. Protect them in your goodness and make them holy. Lord, we trust in you. May the sick feel their companionship with the suffering Christ and know that they will enjoy his eternal consolation. Lord, we trust in you. In your goodness, have compassion on the homeless. Help them to find proper housing. Lord, we trust in you. In your goodness, give and preserve the fruits of the earth, so that each day there may be bread enough for all. Lord, we trust in you. Graciously pr protect our nation from evil, that it may prosper in your peace. Lord, we trust in you. Lord, you attend the dying with great mercy. Grant them an eternal dwelling. Lord, we trust in you. Let us conclude our prayer with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God, our Father, you have promised to remain forever with those who do what is just and right. Help us to live in your presence. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. A great Saturday night, everyone. A blessed Sunday to you all tomorrow, and we'll see you then. God bless you all.